Hi. Hi. We're, uh, we're going to be entering a little contest for biodiversity thing here in D.C. Yeah. Uh, would you guys mind answering a couple questions? Uh, I'll answer your questions. All right. Okay. Be like three, three, three. Sorry, if, sorry if we take you on tape. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. First off, what's your name? Uh, Jacob Howell. All right. Yeah. You uh, you ever hear the word biodiversity? You know what it means? Uh, not really. You know, like vegetation and animal life. Biodiversity. It's like diversity. the diversity of life. And, uh, it is different. A whole bunch of different life all living together in the same area. Biodiversity is a measure of how many types of organisms live in an ecosystem. It is often used to measure the health of an ecosystem. While in Washington D.C we asked people to define biodiversity. Though most people understood what it meant, literally, they failed to comment on the importance of biodiversity. How does the health of an ecosystem affect us as humans? Well, why is biodiversity important? Well, we're all part of an ecosystem, right? So if you remove one part of the equation, it strains the other parts of the equation. And if you strain the other parts of the equation, the next thing you know, an entire environment can be destroyed. Survival of the human race is inextricably linked to the health of our environment. The foods we eat, the medicines we put into our bodies, and the air we breathe are all derived from the environment around us. But our reliance on nature is not only a physical one. Who hasn't felt the inspiration when they walked along a riverside? Who hasn't found the comfort in an autumn wind through the trees? Too often we humans consider ourselves as being outside the environment. Many times we fail to realize that we are all part of something much greater than ourselves. It is through our separation from the natural environment that we humans cause damage to the surrounding ecosystems. So what specific human actions adversely impact biodiversity? Uh, biodiversity is threatened by any unsustainable change in the natural environment. So uh, we're talking climate change, which is going to bring huge shifts in global populations. Uh, we've got overdevelopment which in addition to causing the destruction or the degradation or the uh, fragmentation of habitat is also going to bring about a lot of pollution, uh, runoff from cars, fertilizers, etc. Uh, the introduction of invasive species in addition to genetic hybridization uh, presents a, a huge stress to native populations um, in addition to overhunting, which is sort of an obvious threat to biodiversity. To better understand the effects of these man-made problems, allow us to look specifically at the Anacostia watershed. The Anacostia watershed is DC's second largest watershed. We had a chance to meet with Lee Kane, a member of the Anacostia Watershed Society. According to Mr. Kane, the Anacostia River used to be over a mile wide and 40 feet deep. Wetlands supported many types of birds, fish, and other animals and kept the water clean. The river is now only a few hundred feet wide and a couple of feet deep a mere trickle of what used to be a mighty river. The river continues to shrink because of runoff from paved surfaces, such as parking lots and building tops, carrying dirt into the river. Runoff also brings fertilizers from lawns, which cause algae blooms that inevitably kill most of the life in the river. Overfishing and the introduction of a man-made species of non-migratory Canada geese have kept the river ecosystem from healing. The biodiversity in the Anacostia is low, and a once healthy ecosystem which survived for hundreds of years has been reduced to a dying river, too contaminated to even swim in. This ecosystem is just one of many that suffer because of humans. But what can we do to solve this problem? Well, first of all, better urban planning is definitely one thing that we can do. Urban planning is basically having cities that are integrated with the environment and not harming the environment. Biodiversity's biggest threat is human beings, but we can also become its greatest asset. We can all play our part by using fewer pesticides and fertilizers in our yards, which will keep river and lake ecosystems thriving. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. The more we can reduce the demand for new resources, the fewer habitats are destroyed as a consequence of obtaining the resources. Aim for energy conservation in your home by reducing the demand for electricity, to reduce the amount of coal and fossil fuels that are used in power plants causing global climate change. And vote. By being aware of legislation, you can vote to support congressmen and women who demonstrate their support for long-term sustainability.